Hello everybody, welcome to this video tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can ID3 tag a song and how to put album art on any song you want with any album art you want. So here I've got a con belly dancer and as you can see there is no album art whatsoever. And I have my folder set to show the number of the song in the album, the title, contributing artist, which is the artist on the song, and the album itself. Now, you can see that there is a title here in the name, but there isn't a title here. If there's no title or artist here, then it's not going to show correctly on an iPod, or a radio station, or anything for that matter. Most cases it will show a blank. Now if there's no number here, the iPod, if you put it on your iPod, this will most likely be the first song there because it will alphabetize it if it doesn't have a number for the uh, number of the song in the album. Now if you just right click, go to Properties, Details, you see Description, Media, Audio, Origin, and a whole bunch of other junk. The only thing you really have to worry about is the description. You have to worry about th the title, and that is Belly Dancer. The contributing artist, which is the artist itself, would be Akon. So that's how you ID3 tag a song. You can add the album, which I think this one's convicted, I'm not really sure. I'm not even sure if that's how you spell it, because I'm not really a huge fan of Akon. But, um,. On some songs, it'll come just like that. It won't have the title or the artist or the um, album. It'll just have like the year, the bit rate. It'll have a whole bunch of stuff depending on where you got it from. Just go ahead and click OK. And there you go. Now you have the title and the artist and the album. I don't know the number of the song. Like I said, I'm not a huge Akon fan. So next, we need to get some album art. And I'm going to search up Akon Beautiful Album Cover. Now, oops, not beautiful, my bad. Belly Dancer is what I want to search up. Now, not every song has an album art to it. Album art and album cover are just about the same thing. Now, you, whatever you want, you get. I'm going to go ahead and go with one that actually has the artist and the song name. Now, as you can see here, the dimensions are 350 by 350. I think usually album art is about 500 by 500. It could be even higher. I don't know exactly. I do album art 140 by 140 because it fits um, Yahoo's display picture resolution, even though resolution for that is 255 by 255 so go ahead and try out a few images um, I wouldn't really go over anything that's over 500 but because I'm not going to search through all these images I'm just going to pick the, this one here that's 350 by 350 and I'm going to go ahead and save it to my desktop and close out of that so now you can see I have the album art image right here and now I'm going to open up a program called Media Monkey. This is a free software program that you get for available for 30 days. And basically you can ID3 tag in here, you can add album art, you can do whatever you want to the song. Now I haven't found a way to add a single song yet um, because I just add album art. So usually they're in clumps so I put them in two new folders to do it. So you go to File, Add slash Scan, Tracks to Library, or you could just, I mean you could do one file, but I usually do more than one. So I always put them in folders. So I made one called New Folder and I put it in there, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. This will pop up asking you if you want to take info that Winamp, iTunes, or Windows Media Player may have saved. I don't think, if you don't have Winamp or iTunes, you only have Windows Media Player. I think the only checkbox over here is Windows Media Player. I'm not really sure. Because I always have iTunes for my iPod and Windows Media Player. Um, 
to listen into my radio with. So I'm just going to uncheck these three boxes and click OK. Next, you right click, you go to properties, you go to the album art, click add, switch for the album art, and boom. And you want to make sure it's cover front. You don't want to uh, make anything else. You don't have to put a description. Now what you can do is if you're going to add this to a whole album, uh, you can click the apply to all tracks on album, but I suggest you use the album's actual art instead of one song's art. And then just go ahead and click OK. It'll take one second. And if I go ahead and close out of that, now already you can see in this little folder preview here, you can see that it's got the album art. If I just click on this, you can see it has album art down there. If I double click it to open it, you can see it's got the album art. And it'll show up on your iPod. And this title will show up as a title spot. The artist will show up underneath the title on your iPod. And uh, that should be the correct way. And then the album, it'll, your iPod will sort the songs into albums. So that's in case you're ever wondering how to do that. Thank you very much for watching. I'll leave the link down below to download Media Monkey. Like I said, it's a 30 day free trial. Not exactly how much for it. Not exactly sure how much it is, but please thumbs up, rate, subscribe, do whatever, comment below if you need any help, and I'll see you next time.